trustworthy, including me, all of us. So at any point in time when you have to make a call, a judgment call on human character, all you really have are their records, if you have any. And um, in my earlier foray into the university, when I read English language and linguistics, I was taught that in dealing with characters, you look at what people say about the character, what the character says about himself, and then what the person does or ignores to do. So all I have on Peter Obi are his records in Anambra. Nobody has come forward to say that Peter Obi is a saint. And I'm not suggesting that he is. I can't speak to his sainthood. I'm not looking for to vote for a pope. But when it comes to the subject of competence in governance, prudence in governance, responsibility to the electorate, frugality, for somebody to save state funds, especially in a space like Nigeria, it says something about the person's mindset. We, you know, the only way me I love to worship God is as a Christian. And there is a verse, a couple of verses in the Bible that talks at my consciousness constantly. And it comes from Habakkuk, chapter 2, verses 2 to 3. It speaks to vision. And I know that one of the characters of vision is that it constrains. It constrains you. It would be presumptuous of me to presume. You know when you become presumptuously <laughs> presumptuous? <laughs> to presume to speak to his finances, which I'm not in any way, shape, or form privy to. However, I need to draw your attention to something. If the man had done anything that other members of the Nigerian class